fully read the instruction manual and inspect for damages prior to installation. Test all components with control systems installed. If you have a Whirlpool, Thermal Air, or Combo system, make sure to fully test the bath using Control System Incorporated. Start by taking measurements of your tub so you can build your tub deck box. First, measure from top of bathtub deck, not under lip, to the bottom of the tub at drain end. Measure the height of the bathtub lip and then deduct this measurement from the total of measurement A. Add one inch for the mortar bed. If your tub has micro edge, instead of adding one inch for this bed, you should expect to add one and a quarter inch due to handcrafted nature of our bathtubs. Please wait for your tub to arrive to verify exact measurement. Also, measure the overall length and width of the tub for framing purposes. Reminder that these measurements are only for a minimum opening. If you purchased an oval shaped drop-in tub, it comes with a paper template. This template will provide you the outside dimensions of the tub. Cut one inch inside of the outside dimensions supplied in the box. Use this pattern to cut the plywood on the top of the deck to the correct opening for the drop-in tubs. For a standard Whirlpool system, an access opening of at least 14 inches wide and 16 inches tall is recommended for your deck box. If your bathtub has any additional equipment, please take that into consideration and possibly give yourself a larger access point. Connect drain to house plumbing. If your tub has the standard single speed pump or variable speed blower, Remove the hold down bolts, securing the components of the platform. To set the tub, mix a stiff batch of slow setting water and pile it on the floor. Lower the tub into position. Slip the overflow pipe into the waistline. Allow the tub to settle into the wet mortar, pushing the excess mortar out at the sides and ends of the tub. When the bathtub deck touches the finished surface, ensure the tub is level and at the correct height. Put three to four inches of water into the tub to hold it down and allow the mortar to cure overnight before draining the tub. Conduct a final water test on the tub once the mortar is cured and before use.